Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Marissa, the Filipino wife in America. Today I am back because I am going to talk about tourist visa and fiancé visa, both in relation to annulment. I just want to make this clear that tourist visa is not as easy as you think to apply because it takes a lot of requirements, actually especially if the petitioner is not related to you by consanguinity or by blood. That is a big question and there is a big suspicion on that. Our U.S. Embassy in the Philippines is so meticulous when it comes to the petition on tourist visa without blood relation. I'm just telling you this so that you won't be wasting your time, effort, and money. Money because you are talking about dollars. And even if it's like 100, 200, it's still money. You don't want to waste that. For those of you who are planning to bring your Filipino girlfriend here by tourist visa, do not waste your time and money and effort, as I've said, because 99% you would surely be denied. Especially if your Filipino girlfriend doesn't have any travel in the Asian countries. If this is the first time for her to travel outside the Philippines and going to the U.S., that is a big suspicion. Plus, the petitioner is not related by blood. For those of you who are trying or planning to do that, don't ever try. I want to point this out over and over again. If your annulment is unprocessed, that means you don't have the paperwork that your annulment is already final and executory or it's already final and approved you don't have the proof yet so that means you are not single yet you are married literally married if your boyfriend would like to petition you for tourist visa and your status is married there is already a question in there why would you be petitioned by somebody you are not related with by blood to come here in the u.s plus you are married i hope you got this point if somebody who is your relative invites you to be here there is a possibility that you will be approved and also there is a big possibility that you will be denied my neighbor in the philippines she was petitioned by her own niece the daughter of her sister but she was really denied what are the factors for denial for one, if your American boyfriend would like to file a petition for you using the tourist visa while your annulment is on process, possibly you will be denied because as I've said, you are married and the American boyfriend is not related to you by blood. So what's your business with him? Next one, your annulment is on process, meaning you are still legally married. That means you are not single. Not until you get your paperwork from the Philippine Statistics Authority telling you that your marriage is already annulled. That is your proof that you are single. Another thing, if your American boyfriend would like to file a petition for you as a tourist, your passport is in your married name. The only ID you are going to have is the passport. And you are married in a passport and you are petitioned by an American not related to you by blood. That's a big no, right? I hope you understand my point. Sometimes some women would refuse to understand because they really would like to be here with their, with their boyfriend. Which is very impossible if you are still married. Get your annulment first. That's the first step. After getting your annulment, get your PSA copy stating that you are single. After getting your copy, get your passport. If you already have your passport, because some women did not change their passport even if they got married, it's not a guarantee that you can use that passport. Make sure the date of your passport matches with the date of your annulment. If you cannot wait for the PSA copy, you don't have a choice. You really have to wait because you still cannot go here using the tourist visa, right? What you need to do is wait for your PSA copy stating that you are annulled 
Then after that, bring that to Department of Foreign Affairs. Even if your passport still stating that you that you are single, even if you were married, you need to change that because that doesn't match with the date of your annulment. That might be the cause of your denial. Why? Because there was some kind of a fraud in there. You are not telling the truth. I hope you got my point. Next one. After getting your passport, so now the boyfriend can file a petition for you, but it should be K-1 visa or fiancé visa. That is the only thing which you can be assured that you will be approved. In other words, you are ready to go. You don't have to worry as long as you have met your boyfriend in person. You have met in person. You have proven your relationship that you have met in person through pictures, emails, chats, videos, and all. Thank you for watching. If your petition is on process right now, and if your annulment is on process right now, feel free to give me your comments down below. And if you have other questions, yes, feel free to write down your comments or you can message me on my FB page, Filipino Wife in America. I am always willing to give you my tips and advice. So whatever you have in your experience, please share your experiences in here, whether in annulment or K-1 visa petition, denial experience, feel free to share everything so other viewers can learn something. Thank you for watching. Don't close the video yet if you haven't subscribed on my channel. And please don't forget to like and share this video. Hit the notification bell so you will be notified when I upload new videos. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you. Bye.